everybody. Well, I got journaling videos to do, but I thought I'd do a little show and tell first. I'm going to do this after. I got a happy mail. I switched first off my wallet. I was using this as my wallet. I tried it for like two months, um, and it's just so big in my purse. And to take it out and go like, you know, a wallet is really awkward. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use this for because this is my beloved Foxy Fix, as is this. And I absolutely love this. So it's definitely going to get used for something. I just have to figure out what now that I switched that around. I have some other ideas. So I made this little passport Foxy Fix. I think this was the very first one I ever got, too. And um, into my wallet, which I think is going to work really well. So I have this dashboard in here if I should need it. Um, here I keep the cards I use the most, mostly my PayPal and then my bank card, but PayPal comes out of the bank, and my Sam's Club and my library card and then I keep my driver's license in here and any coupons I might have here's another dashboard oh, that's the end here is a pocket this I got from Amazon and I just have some reward cards in here I only have like four reward cards that I use and then this is a power a little one that's just keeping my um, some extra of my business cards then over here I keep my medical cards and I keep my first aid, uh, my training card, my adult first aid card, and also uh, tells you how to, for CPR for an infant and adult and child, how to resuscitate. And um, just a couple cards <clears throat> from Illustrative Faith. I keep in here um, cards I don't use. There's just a few credit cards. Um, I keep them in here. Uh, there's one to our second bank account that I, it's only for savings and a couple other, a Kohl's card and I think one other card. And I don't really, I don't use them hardly ever, so they just sit back there. And then this is just uh, the only notebook I have in here um, for any lists of things I would like to get. Uh, most of these supplies, like I said, I've already gotten, so I probably need to add new new supplies because I pretty much got them all yeah so that's that that's my little notebook passport um, I went to the thrift store yesterday the only thing I got for journaling was this book this was in the lot date of purchase 1928 um, St. Paul book and stationery is what who made this tag but this was made um, for a school district library I think think January 1928 isn't that something and the book is a boys and girls reader seventh reader so actually it was bought for school use yeah because this is a book the teacher uses and it's the Bolanius course Bolanius readers so Bolanius course and reading and printed in Massachusetts and then there's a note to the teacher and then it goes on. So it's really interesting. Um, it's a really cool book, actually. And um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can cut this one up. I'm kind of like, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, I did buy it. I paid like two fifty for this book. It's really beautiful and old. Um, the paper is, it feels so cool, and it's just a very cool book. It doesn't say the year, except that the date of purchase was 1928, and it's in really good shape. So I thought I'd show you that to you, even though I'm not really sure um, if I want to get it or not. So, I mean, it would be perfect for a journal. I'm not usually attached to the books that I got for journals. I don't know. Then today I received from one of my dear friends in Wisconsin, Galena, thank you, a birthday present. It says, hi Terry, happy birthday buddy, I hope you get these. Um, and we both share, we don't share the same date, but we do share 
the same. We're like a week apart. We share the same month. So I kind of want to keep this for my journaling for today since it arrived today and came in this bag and I have no idea what this is, but isn't that bag so pretty? Ah, <clears throat> let's take a look at this. Let's see if she can get it open. Dang it. Which reminds me, I won't be journaling next weekend because I will be out of town up at my husband's cousin's cabin for to celebrate my birthday. So we're just gonna cut that open because that is just giving me trouble. Oh, all kinds of owl things. So what do we have? We have an owl bracelet. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh, I love it. I just love it. <laughs> it's a whole set of lovely owl things. Oh my goodness, so pretty. The owl bracelet and we have an owl necklace. I might wear all this stuff to marriage night. Her just doing this big marriage night thing on Thursday and this might be good to wear with my outfit. And hmm. Come on, Terry. You can figure it out. And then the earrings. So it's all it all matches and it is so cool. Galena, thank you so much. So much. This is great. I just love it. I can't wait to actually use, wear this. And then she gave me something else too. I'm like, wow. So we got a big box and we got bubble wrap. And what is in here? Oh, wow. Oh man, this is beautiful. And this is an owl pen holder. Oh, look at this. Isn't this great? It's kind of that um, resin, I think. It's so beautiful. And then I just put my pens in here. I love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. Thank you so much. And I'm going to have to find a lovely place for it on my desk. Actually, I'm going to put it right here, and it'll be right where I can see it. And I have a bunch of pens, and I will put them in here, because why not? But I'll do that later, because I don't want to take up my time here with you guys. But, oh, it's so cool. I really, really like it. It's going to be fantastic. So I'm going to put that back right where I can see it when I do my work. It'll be right there staring back at me. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, um, Galena. And um, it was just a little miscellaneous video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm gonna go do my uh, vacation journal now. Bye.